Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing part three of my room renos, which I'm going to be doing for you guys today. Basically, we're just going to run through setting up my wardrobe and putting all of my clothes in it. Fill it up really nicely, which is really, really exciting. My bed frame arrives today and my bed arrives today as well. Yes. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, let's get started. Mm. Okay. So basically where we left off was I was just finishing off painting and I've pulled off the blue tape. So I'll show you guys in a second. It actually looks pretty good. Like I feel like I did a really good job, you know, not not bad, not too bad at all. Alright, love a good moldy comp. This is my current stitch. Just gotta clear that stuff up. So with the cement, we're gonna keep the cement. I've got shoes on because there's just stuff everywhere and it's just a hazard. You know, you gotta be careful around this this work environment. So yeah, be safe kids. Um, basically, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is just like raw cement. So basically I've got cement cleaner and I'm gonna just clean this up. But first I need to go through all of this and basically put it all in here. And I have already started over this side. Okay, so this is basically one side that I've done. I just got my shoes here. Dresses, my dresses go here. And then my, I'm just gonna fold up some stuff there, like pants or shorts or something. And then here I'm gonna have some tops. And then here I might have like some dress pants. I'm not overly too sure. But I was thinking we could just go with the flow. You know? First things first. I'm the realist. Oh my god, my brain. It's hurting already just from looking at this mess. Ow! These are my bamboo sheets that arrived. Oh, they're honestly like the softest sheets. Guys, you have to get them. They're so soft. Oh, and they're just like, just so comfy. Like words cannot even explain these comfy bamboo sheets. But these were 150 bucks. Um, and they're really heavy. Like, Honestly, they weigh a ton, but I, I, but they're honestly they're a dream to sleep in. Like I've slept in, with them before, and they just absolutely couldn't. I can't pass them up. Wine from the other night. Target the other day and I got these pack of coat hangers one two three four five you get five these were ten dollars each I don't know if it's just me being a stingy you know a stingy person but like ten dollars for coat hangers like I thought coat hangers were cheaper but to be honest they're not they're actually kind of pricey but I need them it's a need so I gotta do it you know and I don't want to get the cheap plastic ones that are just gonna snap like I want to have nice um, coat hangers for my wardrobe so that's why I got these I got um, I, yeah I got four sets so it was only like 40 40 bucks and I also got one of these too it's like a clothes horse this was like I think it was like $20 or something but it's just good to have you know when you wash your like clothes and stuff um, so yeah that's that's me I think it all came back when I was looking back at you, oh how I've missed those sights. You must have missed mine too. Did you breathe me in? If you would only know that you're in my air for every second, everywhere I go. So why are we hiding in these crowded places? Cause we are I've got so much clothes, like this isn't even the calf of it, like it's just absolutely crazy how many clothes I have. But this is a really good opportunity to like sift through everything that I don't need, put some stuff into storage because we're heading into winter. Um so it's a good time to sort of just like put away all the summery stuff that I usually wear and just Get out all the clothes that I will wear. You know what I mean? We've been so polite. 
We didn't say a word to much. Hey, COVID friends. Ow. <laughs> okay, so yesterday um, was literally took fucking forever to do. Took forever. Like, this isn't even half my shit that's in here. Like, I just have so much stuff. It's crazy. Um, but, yeah, so this is the end result. Ah! My God! It's a war zone in here on the floor. Absolute fucking mayhem, mate. Absolute fucking mayhem. So yeah, guys, this is my um, wardrobe, which is finally done. And this big thing is my bed too. That <laughs> is my bed frame, which arrived. So yeah, we're going to be setting that up today. But first, I have to clean the floors of my bedroom because, you know, it's a bit dodge. <laughs> but I got this. Um, I got this as well. I went to the shops and I got this big doona because I didn't have a doona cover because like Basically like when my engagement ended um, Yeah, I literally walked away with like nothing Even though I like paid for like, you know, most of shit as well. So But it's cool. So I've just had to sort of sort of like start from scratch um, But yeah, this is what I got which is amazing. So I'm really really happy that I have this now, but you know what, it's like, it's kind of like annoying that I literally like didn't get to take my bedding or my bed or my bed frame or like, I don't know, any my drawers and like my lamps and stuff. Like I didn't get to take any of my, any of my shit. I even had to get a new diffuser, which is just fucking annoying really because I love my little, um, humidifier mist things like, look i'm just really happy because now like i actually have got like a bed i have somewhere to put my bed um everything like that you know it's been ages like i've haven't had a i haven't had my own bed or bedroom in about i don't know like four months so it's good to sort of just have like my own space and like not be living out of a suitcase sort of thing which is really nice so it's good this has been really hard on me because like I don't know like the more that my room comes together the more that I'm seeing that alright so I have to wear a mask and I've got boots on and yeah because the basically you just have to be like mm. You just gotta be like really, really careful. Apparently it's really fumy, the stuff that I'm using. So I'm gonna show you it after I do it, but I'm just gonna do it in sections, my room, because it is quite big. And I just feel like sections is a bit better to do. So my current cement situation. We've got a mask to protect ourselves. I've got these shoes on, like gum boots. And this, I got a, I got a scrubber. And then I also have got the cement cleaner, which is in here. So the cement cleaner is one part, 40 parts. So basically if I have like a liter, what I need to do is just divide it by 40. And then obviously that'll give me like 25 mils, which that I put in that, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's just, a, it's a fucking tricky process. I don't understand it. But you guys can watch me clean, woo. Yeah, we keep on acting like we left no traces But when our eyes meet, we drop our poker face I don't know, I honestly feel like this whole process has just been really hard for me like obviously coming out of you know my engagement and stuff like I think that the more my room comes together the more of the reality sets in that you know like me and my partner aren't together and stuff anymore and it's sort of kind of it's just really hard to adjust to like at the moment I think you know like I was doing fine and I have been doing fine but I think it just gets a bit emotional from time to time like because I am sort of just setting up my own stuff and getting back into the routine of just doing me, you know. Um, but yeah, this has definitely been really, really hard for me. 
to adjust to being on my own and stuff like that so but yeah it just gets really emotional sometimes for me um yeah it's just the reality sets in more and more every time every progress i make the reality just sets in more and more so that's why i got a bit upset before but that's fine emotions come and go and i think it's all a part of like the process when you break up you know you do sort of go through like a a grieving sort of process in this sort of sense depending on how close you were and stuff you know like me and my partner were together for eight years and it's just it's just so tricky sometimes like you just go through like ups and downs of being okay and then not being okay and then being okay and then not being okay but it's just life i think all right guys new dawn new day so basically this is the difference Okay, so this is the difference. So this is the dirty one, and then this is actually the clean one. I don't know which one looks cleaner. But like, this is just like literal just cement, and then but hair is like dirty, like you can sort of, like, ew. So no for me. So I've got to scrub the rest of this. And then it'll be like this, and then I have to vacuum, and then I've got to get the dirt out of hair too, because there's dirt in these. And then once that's done, I can wait for it to dry, and then I can put it down in my rug. I'm so excited to put my rug down. Like, I've had this rug for maybe like five months. So I was going to put it down in my other place that I was at, but that didn't end up happening. So it's just been in storage, but it's going to be epic. Like, I honestly just cannot wait to put it down. We didn't say a word too much We hid behind the daylight While I was longing for your touch We never let the other in Cause we were scared to fall back Into the old habits But we will Yeah, we're on the track So why are we hiding In these crowded Cause when our eyes meet, we drop our poker faces Yeah, we keep on acting like we left no traces But when our eyes meet, we drop our poker This is such a fucking process, like, <laughs> so now we're gonna end Fucking over it, mate, I'm fucking over it so I got this rug from um, Rugs of Beauty. It's like huge. I don't, honestly, it's fucking gigantic. I, I don't even know how big it is, like, but it's big. And it's really nice, it's beautiful. So I pretty much am gonna do that and then I'm gonna start setting my bed up. I'm so excited. I've also had a lot of like messages asking about how to move on from a relationship. And honestly, like, I can't even tell you how to move on from a relationship. All I can say is that from experience, I think what you need to do is mostly focus on yourself. I think at the start, when you break away from someone, you know, your whole life changes because you're not with them anymore and not hanging out with them and not doing the routine things that you do. So you sort of need a break from that routine and start your own routine, go to the gym, hang out with friends. I found hanging out with friends was really good for me. It sort of kept me busy a lot, which was really good. Always remember like why it happened and like why you know you guys are apart and stuff and and always just i guess it's good to reflect on on why it what happened happened you know also i think just keep really busy like just go to the gym hang out with friends don't get into another relationship like everyone's different do whatever you want to do but for me like because i'd been in a relationship for so long i didn't even know myself as a person i actually was just so lost um, and I found it really really hard to know who I am as a person and stuff like that um, But yeah, and I found that and I'm actually really really happy that I haven't jumped into another relationship or anything like that um, Because I need to I need my own time like I need to do me I need to be happy I need to find what makes me happy as a person what I value what I want in my life and I don't want someone else to um, Predict that or not predict it to like enforce 
what I, what I want and everything like that. Do you know what I mean? So I just feel like just don't jump into anything else. Just do you, focus on yourself. And I honestly think that's the best way. And it's going to be hard, dude. Like, like every breaking up with someone is so hard. It's the hardest thing ever. It's just, it's just horrible. But as, just make sure it's like clean cut. Um, you know, you don't want it to be messy or anything like that. And I understand it'd be really hard. Like if you have children or it is, it's really, really difficult. It's really tricky. And it's just adapting and adjusting to, to life without this person, which really, at the moment I'm in a really good place. Like it has been really, really hard setting this room up because it just, it's just different like I, I like last year this time last year I was not picturing this I did not expect this to be happening I didn't want this Compl wanted completely different things and it's just crazy that so much can change in a year it goes on and it's not the end of the world unless this COVID-19 like fucks us all up but <laughs> but yeah I don't know okay Okay. Yum. I actually love Vegemite on toast. Like, oh, it's so good. Honestly, amazing. Okay, so floors are done. Finally. I mean, it took me... I mean, I feel like it took me, like, so long to do, but they're finally done, so I'll show you guys. Alright, so these are the floors. If I'm being honest with you, I think that's totally fine, because I'm going to cover it with a rug anyway, so it's not really too much of a big deal. This is my rug. So this is my rug. I got it from I got it from Rugs of Beauty. And yeah, I'm just gonna put it down. I don't know how long it is, I forget, but I don't know, I'll have a look and I'll tell you guys how big it is. But it's fucking huge, mate. It's fucking huge. Um yeah, it should like cover the floor, I think, hopefully, which would be really nice. And then I can put my bed up and then life would be really good. Okay, 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 okay. Alright. Oh my god. I'm using a knife because I couldn't find the scissors anywhere. Okay, so these are the instructions. Don't really know how I'm going to navigate through these, but I mean, how complicated can it be? 